today i'll discuss about the histology of the vagina the vagina is a fibromuscular tubular structure it is an important part of the female reproductive system it extends from the vestibule to the uterus and the cervix of the uterus is protruded in the upper part of the vagina so it forms fornix we have posterior fornix anterior fornix and two lateral fornix these fornices are continuous and are con are communicating to each other the vagina is related anteriorly to the urinary bladder posteriorly to the rectum and also it is related to the cervix uterus in the upper part the mucosa inside the vagina is folded it is lined by non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium then we'll get the lamina propria then we'll get the mingled muscle fibers then adventitia it is covered by adventitia throughout except the upper part of the posterior aspect of the vagina it is covered by the peritoneum near the rectouterine pouch okay so if you go to the histology of the vagina we will find out that the lining epithelium by non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium then we'll get the lamina propria that is rich in blood vessels lymphatics even it will get some neutrophils then this is the muscle layer muscle layers is muscle layer is composed of indistinct intermingling predominantly inner circular muscle layer and outer longitudinal muscle layer outside the muscle we'll get the adventitia this is stratified squamous epithelium this is lamina propria this is the muscle okay so stratified squamous epithelium non keratinized lamina propria loose fibro elastic connective tissue it contains a lot of elastic fibers blood vessels connective tissue okay then muscle layer then we'll get deep to the muscle outside the muscle we'll get the adventitia this is the stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium the epithelium is is protruded by the lamina propria that makes the sub epithelial papilla this is sub epithelial papilla this is also a protrusion of the of the lamina propria here so sub epithelial papilla this is stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium this cell seems to be empty but they are not empty they contain glycogen and glycogen formation is stimulated by the estrogen this glycogen inside the cell this cell will be shedded because it is a stratified squamous epithelial cell basal cell will contribute in this cell and this cell will be shedded to the vaginal lumen vaginal lumen contains a bacteria called lactobacillus acidophilus or dodalens bacilli and that and that bacteria makes the lactic acid from the glycogen by fermentation that maintains the ph of the vagina vaginal ph is acidic because we have formation of lactic acid from this glycogens of this shedded cell okay so we got the acidic media in the lumen and that is essential to prevent bacterial infection inside the vagina we have also some lymphocyte and the neutrophil that also are those are also present in the lamina propria 
that also goes to the among the cells may shed may go outside to go to the lumen so if you go to the histology of the vagina vagina has no gland vaginal secretions are derived from three sources one is from the cervical gland another one is from the transudation from the underlying tissue especially from the lamina propria another source is vestibular gland okay they will contribute in the lubrication and the maintenance of wetness inside the vagina hymen is a fold of mucous membrane that is present at the beginning of the vagina bulbo spongiosus muscle act as a sphincter of the vagina okay this is a skeletal muscle a few fiber present in the lower part of the vagina that work as a sphincter i mean we discussed it is a mucous membrane present at the beginning of the vagina and it is ruptured due to sexual activity or maybe any other reason there may be remnant of the hymen at the beginning of the vagina we have clinical application vaginitis inflammation of the vagina may be caused by a protozoa like trichomonas vaginalis may be caused by a fungus candida albicans this may cause itching around the vulva and vagina vaginal carcinoma primary carcinoma is rare but it may happen it may happen or it may be an extension of carcinoma of the cervix or from the vulva atopic vaginitis is a clinical condition when the thickness of the vaginal epithelium is thinned out as well vagina wall is thinner due to lack of hormone in the postmenopausal women we know that in adult women during their reproductive period the thickness of the of the vaginal epithelium is around 150 to 200 micron that will be grossly decreased in case of postmenopausal women and that may cause atopic vaginitis that vagina is vulnerable to get infection we have some bivalvosic question what is the lining epithelium of the vagina this is stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium we may get a few cell with some keratohyalin how the ph of the vaginal lumen is maintained by means of the shedded epithelial cell disintegration and the glycogen is fermented by the dodderland bacilli or lactobacillus acidophilus common cell bacteria in the vagina that will produce lactic acid and from the glycogen will get lactic acid that lactic acid will decrease the ph of the vagina does the vagina has any gland no it has no gland how vagina is kept wet and lubricated from the secretion of the cervical gland from the transudation from the underlying tissue especially from lamina propria and also from the vestibular gla glands how the muscles are arranged in the vaginal wall these are smooth muscles they are not very distinctly arranged they are mingled predominantly inside circular muscle layer outside longitudinal muscle layer and in the lower part of the vagina there are few muscle fibers of bulbo spongiosus that is skeletal muscle that act as a vaginal sphincter what type of tissue are lamina propria lamina propria is a loose fibroelastic connective tissue and adventitia is a dense fibroelastic connective tissue both of them contain elastic fibers and their loose or denseness is not homogeneous 
At the beginning of the lamina propria, it is loose fibroelastic connective tissue. When it goes to the muscle, it is a little bit denser. Like adventitia, at the, at the outer part of the muscle, it is, it is dense fibroelastic connective tissue. Then it goes further, further, it is connected to the other tissue, surrounding tissue. It, that adventitia contain now some loose fibroelastic connective tissue. What are the vaginal fornixes? These are the arch like spaces between the ectocervix and the vaginal walls. The posterior vaginal fornix is deeper, and anterior vaginal fornix is the narrowest part. Anterior vaginal wall is 7.5 cm in an adult, posterior vaginal wall is around 9 cm in an adult female. On average, where is the sphincter of the vagina? A few fibers of the bulbospongiosus, the lower end of the vagina, is called sphincter of the vagina. What is hymen? A fold of mucous membrane at the beginning of the vagina. That is present in a, in a virgin woman or it may be damaged due to sexual activity or may be damaged without sexual activity. Is there any Peritoneum in the vaginal wall, yes, on the posterior superior part of the vaginal wall, it is covered by the peritoneum.